it was finally here. The goal I had worked so hard for, I was now on the brink of reaching it. 900 days of hardcore. 900 days of knowing I could lose my world at any moment. I knew death would come eventually. No one lives forever. But no matter how many days I survived, death before day 1000 was not an option. Wadzi, Filza, Looney, all legendary hardcore players. If I wanted to join their ranks, if I wanted to become one of the legends, I had to achieve the ultimate goal. Not just surviving, but thriving in Minecraft's hardest mode. I've said it before, hardcore Minecraft does not forgive and it does not forget. And yet I still stood. Hardcore Minecraft gives no second chances, and yet I still stood. My life had hung in the balance time and time again, and yet I still stood. We pick up where we left off on day 901. It was time to finally finish this gold farm. I did a lot of really interesting things like placing chests and uh, placing chests. Day 902, I had to put 41 gold nuggets into these hoppers to make the sorting system work. I have no clue why it's specifically 41, but I ain't exactly a redstone expert, so if there was 42 in there, maybe it just blows up. Now that everything was done, I could start making gold. Oh look, children. I checked the results on day 903 and they were decent. I haven't spawn proofed any of the nether under the farm so it's not the most efficient. There was a hole in my heart and no, it's not love. It's the fact that I haven't scammed these villagers in ages. I think you've been stuck in there for like 300 days at this point. I had a lot of plans for this area which meant it was time to take down all these bee nests. Would this really be a Minecraft video without immense deforestation? Now that I had enough materials it was time to build the road. Yeah, this part is always painful. It's also the first time in the video we meet the phantoms and trust me, you're gonna see a lot of them. Day 905, I was done with the road and could start building. For some reason, I tried to make this an area to grow and cut down trees and it was a complete waste of time. My two brain cells finally kicked in and I remembered I'm supposed to build, you know, buildings. Days 906 and 907, I continued working. My plan was to have this place be a tavern. Day 908, I watched all the phantoms burn, so I had a great morning. Pretty normal day, went to hell, chopped down some trees, built a nice roof. Day 909 was just more building. That's literally it. Day 910, it was time for everyone's worst nightmare, the interior. They're not as painful as dealing with phantoms, but they're close. Day 911, I was really proud of this display cabinet I made. If you want to make one of these for yourself, you just need to use a piston. Day 912, I finished off the tavern with some shutters, flower pots, and berry bushes. Actually, I forgot the stable, so I finished the tavern on day 913. I needed more light grey dye and went on a slight squid killing rampage. If these guys go extinct, I had nothing to do with it. I also visited my ocean monument to craft more sea lanterns. Unlike the squid, I feel absolutely zero sympathy for the guardians. You should too. Day 914, you know that tavern that I called finished twice? Uh, yeah, I might still be working on it. A thunderstorm began and I headed out to gather some mob heads. Then I stood in front of a charge creeper. It was basically like trying to intercept a nuke with my face. I can't tell you how happy this makes me. Not only did a phantom die, it literally got blown up. I really did finish the tavern this time. I didn't just build it for no reason, well I kinda did, but I built it for someone in particular. That's right, he's finally free. Day 916, this guy wanted to try out every single workstation in the tavern. Imagine if villagers could go on strike, my entire economy would definitely die. I asked my discord what we should name the villager and we came up with Hermit. If you want to join the discord the links in the description, we got bots, food, I mean what more could you want? I spent the rest of the day clearing out a bunch of shulkers. I then AFK'd my creeper farm for the rest of the night. I headed into the nether because I wanted to go out far enough to find some 1.17 chunks. Unfortunately, 4 obsidian isn't quite enough for a nether portal. Can we, can we, all, can we all make a little agreement that this is entertaining? Right? Like, this is really entertaining, isn't it? 
Anyway, now that I could actually build a portal, I was able to gather up some deep slate and tuff. Day 918, I needed to clear some terrain to make space for more buildings. I could make the same Mr. Beast joke that literally everyone makes, but this channel, well, you know, it's all about the original content, so I won't. Wait, hold on. You guys are in crippling debt. Well, that was a nice talk. See you all tomorrow. Now that all the terrain was gone, I was left with a floating gold beacon, which I of course took down. Day 920, I began working on a new build. This is going to be a massive pedestal where my diamond beacon's going to live. Right now, it's kind of sad and lonely on a hill next to a farm, and it's time to change that. Wow, I love phantoms. There's definitely nothing wrong with them. It's definitely not like they're the most annoying mob in the game or anything. This thing took me all the way up until day 924 to complete. Unfortunately, I still don't have time lapses in my videos yet, but I'm hoping to have them set up fairly soon. Day 925, I need to swap out my diamond beacon for the gold one. Oh my days, can you lot leave me alone for two seconds? I think the pedestal is a worthy place for the diamond beacon and definitely shows it off a lot more. Day 926, I had to set up a beacon because I had no stone or andesite left. So I have a diamond beacon, but I don't have stone. Brilliant. Yo, what's up guys? Hey, chill, chill, chill. Day 927, hey, no stealing the flowers. Rude, mate, honestly. After killing some guy over one tulip, I spent the morning with the prisoners, vergers. Happy vergers who really like their jobs and aren't thousands of emeralds in debt. I was getting really close to a second shulker full of emerald blocks. I started gathering up the materials to build a wither rose farm. I needed eggs though, so day 928 I built what I like to call the chicken children confiscator. I then found a couple chickens and took them to their happy new home. For the rest of the day I worked on the road. Then this kid escaped and he started going wild. Laugh while you still can mate. Laugh while you still can. Yeah, who's laughing now? That's what I thought. While I waited for the inmates to lay eggs, or oh, I'm never saying that again, I decided to work on a new project. As always, it begins with deforestation. I wasn't just doing deforestation in the overworld though. I went the extra mile and did some in hell. Aren't you proud of me? Day 930, I started laying the foundations for the new build. The chicken children confiscator was right in the way, so I ended up having to rebuild it. Welcome to your new home. It's literally a carbon copy of the old one. Day 931, I was building the new shop. No idea what it's gonna sell, but the way things are going, it'll probably end up selling cooked chicken. Day 932, building. Day 933, building, decoration edition. Now that I'm all done with the main build, it's time to do the interior, right? <laughs> yeah, no. I will literally build a fully functional wither rose farm before I have to build another interior. On the way, I found an end city, which I obviously robbed. Days 934 to 935, I was building the farm. I'll leave a link to it in the description if you want to build it for yourself. Also, if you want to download my world and play on it yourself, the link's in the description. I'm sorry to all you on Bedrock, but this download only works for Java. Unfortunately, one of the key components of this farm, the Endermite, died and I didn't have any spare name tags. I had to fly all the way home to get spares and then fly all the way back. I also ran out of Ender Pearls and had to murder several of the local population to get more. Day 936, the farm was complete except for a single missing block. All I needed was one wall. This actually wasn't included in the material list for the farm, so I hadn't brought one with me. I also had no crafting table to make one, so I had to fly all the way back to my Enderman farm just to craft one stupid wall. Day 937, I needed to spawn proof the area around the farm by flooding it. I'm the best thing that's ever happened to this Minecraft world. I caused mass deforestation, flooding, imprisoned the population. I mean, I really can't go wrong. For the final part of the farm, I made a wither and then headed up to the AFK spot. I checked on the farm on day 939 and it produced enough wither roses to last me a lifetime. I then shot some iron golems, scanned the vergers and afk my creeper farm all night. Day 940, I took the wither roses to my wither skirton farm. Wither skirtons are the only mob that can spawn on wither roses, so this would hopefully make the farm a lot more efficient. I stayed at the farm until I had 9 skulls, which only took around 15 minutes. Day 942, I did some work on the town and swapped the dark oak fence for trapdoors. The phantoms drove me insane and I ended up sleeping. Day 943, I changed a few small details about my wall farm. If I'm honest, I might rebuild this place in the future because I still don't like it that much. The new design of trapdoors instead of fence is burning through a lot of wood, so we can pretty much say goodbye to this entire forest. I love nature, which is why I'm blowing this hill to pieces and burning down all these trees. My flint and steel broke and I ended up making an enchanted one. Now I can love nature even more. Day 945, I built some more road. 
D946. All right, let's see. Did I do anything interesting? Oh, wait. No, I just built more road. I did end up taking down the chicken child confiscator, though. Day 947 starts with some solid scamming. I then began work on my next project. This thing was absolutely massive and it took me until day 952 just to get the basic structure done. It's kind of a cathedral thing, kind of not. I just made it up in a creative world and thought it looked cool. Day 953, I found this zombie in chainmail armor and managed to trap him in a box. A glass box. So the sunlight is going to damage his helmet until it eventually breaks and he burns up and dies. Ignoring that massive oversight, I built a nice flag for the cathedral. I decided to go for some blackstone bricks for the roof, which gave a really nice contrast to the stone blocks that I used. Day 954, do you want to hear the most satisfying sound ever? That never gets old. Guys, listen, it's not scamming, it's just a really good deal for me and a not very good deal for you. And it's borderline illegal. I went on yet another beacon mining trip because I once again had no stone or andesite. I returned on day 956 with my pickaxe almost fully broken. A few melons and pumpkins later, it's back in mint condition. How much would this sell for on eBay? Day 957, it was time. I needed to build the interior. With a build at this size, it was not going to be easy or quick. By the way, in case you're wondering why I even built this place to begin with, it's for the librarians in my training hall. Once they're in here, I'll have more space for farmers, which means I can make even more emeralds than before. Day 958, I started building a spiral staircase. I'm really happy with how it turned out. The next few days, all I did was build the interior, so there's not much to say, to be honest. Do you guys need the bookshelves in here? I really hope you said no. I used all the bookshelves I borrowed to create a new enchanting setup. Day 962, I used a bunch of glass paintings to make it look like there was magic flying around the room. I also used some candles to add to the atmosphere. The vanilla room looks cool, but with shaders, it genuinely comes to life. Although my PC was the opposite, it was going to die. My PC actually did die about halfway through this video and I had to get it fixed, which is one of the many reasons why this video took so long to come out. I visited my ocean monument to craft some more sea lanterns and annihilated this piglin. Day 963, I dyed all the sheep in my wool farm and replaced the shears. This place ran out of shears about 200 days ago, so the repair was slightly late. I made money and then made some bookshelves. Day 964, I'm still working on the interior. I made this area into a little museum and it has a bunch of my old gear and other items. Day 965, I wrote out descriptions for every item. If you download my world, please come to the museum. Like, come on, I spent five minutes on those signs. You gotta read them. Now that the cathedral is done, I had to do something worse than the interior. Move the vergers. You know with cows and sheep, where you hold wheat and they follow you? We should have something like that for vergers, because it would make my life 10 times easier. Unfortunately, after years of being in the training hall, this verger had gone insane. Day 966, I'm doing the thing you all love, remember? I then moved another librarian out of the training hall, this time by using a lectern. Unlike the other one, he still knows how doors work. At night, I moved a third and... <sighs> For some reason, I decided it would be a great plan to go for one of the most annoying advancements in the game. If you can get a ghast through another portal and then kill it in the overworld, you get the uneasy alliance advancement. I really want to know how this went down at Mojang. Alright guys, we need a new advancement. How about trying to bring a ghast through a nether portal? Even though ghasts fly away from you? Yeah. Even though you can't use leads on them? Yeah. Perfect idea, Dave. I'm giving you a pay rise. Day 967, I moved the nether portal to a soul sand valley where ghasts are more likely to spawn. I almost got this ghast through and then the rod broke. The entire day was spent trying to fish one of these stupid white balloons through the portal. Day 968, I needed to AFK my creeper farm. Day 969, I knew something was different. This time, I would get that advancement. Day 970, I was trying to get a hoglin through another portal. A zoglin was the only mob I hadn't killed, and once I did kill one, I get the monsters hunted advancement. Hoglins run away from nether portals, but that's fine, I'm not giving them a choice. Sorry man, had to be done. Day 971, I was searching for copper. I needed some in order to craft a spyglass. 
I did try to make one with an amethyst cluster instead of a shard, but let's not talk about that. I also got the wax on and the wax off advancements. The next advancement on my list was sniper duel, which I got on my first try. On my first try. Finally. Wait, I meant first try. Oh look, a ghast. Oh look, it's dead. I spent day 972 trying to make the best crossbow possible. I had to visit the pit of villagers to get a new librarian and the conditions down here get worse every day. 40 emeralds, are you mad? I had to do a little bit of convincing, but eventually he lowered his price. It did take an insane amount of levels to make this thing, but I finally had a perfect crossbow. I then used this brutal weapon of war to hit a nice bullseye. I respawned the ender dragon in order to look at her through the spyglass, then cancelled her life subscription. I also killed a purger with a crossbow in order to get another advancement. Day 974, I headed out to the jungle to get the final spyglass advancement, then got completely distracted. I tried to breed these pandas, but it didn't work. I wanted to try at least once for the ultra rare brown panda, so I trapped them with some leaves and waited until they could breed again. Day 975, a baby was born. He's just a regular panda, but he's still adorable. I was about to leave the jungle when I remembered the reason I even came here in the first place. You're probably wondering what my plan is for day 1000. Well, it's a secret, so can I interest you in watching me destroy this melon field? I built it all the way back at the end of 200 days and it's finally time to get rid of it. Day 976, I decided it was finally time to sort out this ugly area leading up to my tower. The terrain's all wonky, there's that random ruin I built, not to mention a stable that looks really outdated. There's an advancement that involves killing phantoms, yep, this one's my favourite. I also moved all the horses over to the city centre. Day 977, I took down the old stable. I think the idea was decent, but the execution wasn't great. The overall shape and block palette didn't feel right, and the hay on the floor looks pretty bad. I've improved a lot of building in the last couple of months, and would definitely like to build a new stables at some point. A thunderstorm began, and I was able to get the surge protector advancement. There's also an advancement for striking a verger with lightning, but as I'm editing this video, I've realised it didn't actually give me the advancement. I think it's because the verger's not supposed to die when you do it. I started gathering up mob heads and then got blown up for the second time in this video. I didn't have my ender chest with me, which meant I needed to fly home without a totem. Luckily, I survived the experience, but when you're playing hardcore Minecraft, your heart never does. Day 978, it was time to fix something that had been an issue for months. My tower lives on this little hill, well it's more like a mound of dirt, and it's lame. And a dirt path leading up to it? Unacceptable. It's pretty embarrassing, but all of day 979 was just spent trying to make this circle line up. I don't know why, but the ability to count just disappeared from my brain. We'll skip ahead to day 981, where things are looking pretty good. I added the usual trapdoors and put slabs on top of the logs for that extra detail. Day 982, I tried some different decorations, but didn't really like any of them. Day 983, I took down this tree, or as I like to call it, the mushroom pretending to be a tree. I really need to get better at building trees. With that monstrosity gone, I built more of the road. I know you want to see that insane day 1000, and trust me, we're getting there. Day 984, I used some blue wool to mark out where the new buildings would go. I've never done this before, but it honestly really helps. For the next 6 days, I built 2 new structures. A flower shop, and a house. I was saved from having to do the interiors, because it was time for the final event. For day 1000, I was going to try and get Minecraft's hardest advancement. How did we get here? Just in case you don't know what that is, it's a secret advancement you get from having every status effect applied at once. I first brewed every potion I would need, as well as crafting some suspicious stew which gives blindness. I also had to enchant some new armour, and I'll explain why in a minute. Of course, the hardest part of this advancement is moving a shulker all the way from an end city into the overworld. The area around the end gateway has to be spawn proof so that the only place the shulker can teleport is into the gateway. There was a city about 800 blocks away from a gateway, which would be my best bet at getting this advancement done in time for day 1000. The reason for the new armour is that my current set has thorns 3, which would of course kill the shulker. I don't know how this works, but by pushing a minecart into a boat, they both move along the tracks without ever needing any powered rails. Unfortunately, the first attempt didn't quite go to plan. Oh, how's he done that then? Also, trying to build anything around shulkers is like trying to mow the lawn with a pair of scissors. 
The second shulker went through and nearly died from suffocation. I went home and brewed some splash potions of healing because time was not on my side. If I took too long to get the shulker in place, I'd fail to get the advancement by day 1000. Unfortunately, the shulker didn't go in place anyway. It teleported into this tiny hole I made while getting the dragon egg. The shulker hit itself and actually ended up duplicating, so that's pretty cool. The next problem I ran into was that this shulker went into the gateway while in a boat and a minecart, which meant it couldn't go through. I couldn't break the boat with my axe because it was under the gateway blocks. The two brain cells of Mosey woke up for once and by shooting the boat with a bow, I was able to get the shulker through. However, I immediately ran into a new issue as the shulker was still stuck in the minecart. It's really annoying to get the shulker out without killing it because its hitbox overlaps the minecart. It was a massive relief to eventually get it out and put it back in a boat. Day 995, I had to carve out a huge tunnel through this mountain. I should have started working on this advancement much earlier because my time was running out fast. I was able to move the shulker to the ocean on day 996, but it hit itself way too many times. As much as I hate you, you cannot die. With the shulker safely imprisoned, I completed the hardest part of the advancement. I borrowed some beacons from the base and on day 997 set up a tier 3 beacon with almost every effect. I set up a conduit in order to get the conduit power effect and also grab some dolphins. With all the preparations complete, there was one final thing I had to do. I needed to clear a raid. Time for everyone's favourite music! Oh hi, thanks for checking in. I'm still a piece of garbage. Heroes never die. Fight! So yeah, I somehow failed the raid. Day 998, it was my last chance. If I failed this raid, it would all be over. I was already mad that I lost the first raid, I was definitely not about to lose a second. I revisited the purge outpost to get bad omen, and then the nearby ocean monument to get mining fatigue. But then it all went wrong. The dolphins had despawned, which wasn't much of an issue, I could just go home and get some name tags and leads. Except for one problem. It was insanely frustrating, but I had no other option. Day 999, I got two more dolphins, used my last name tag, and flew off to once again get bad omen and mining fatigue. And now it's time for some live commentary. I hope you enjoy. I have the studio case, we need to throw it every single one. Every single one, puff fish, suspicious stew, golden apple. Need to eat this. Get in here. Get down here, hit me, hit me, hit me. Shocker, do you think? No! No way I failed that. Yo, can you hit me up with a bit of mining fatigue, please? Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Bang, 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 bang. Give me a levitation, give me a levitation. Give me a levitation. Yes! Okay. Dolphin's grace. Oh, yes, eat the eat the fish, eat the fish. And this, please. I just choked again, are you kidding me? After failing for the second time, I now had a massive problem. Eating a puffer fish is the only way to get the nausea effect and I had just eaten my last one. My only chance was to pray that the Minecraft gods would give me another puffer fish. Yes! Yes! Oh my god, okay, give me that, give me that mining fatigue, give me mining fatigue, give me mining fatigue. Staring you in the face, I'm knocking on the front door. Can I have mining fatigue please? Okay. Yes! Thank you, there we go, finally. Right, this is it, so, potion, 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 eat the gap. Go down into here, go up into here, open that, hit me with the shulker, go down into here, eat the puff fish, eat the suspicious stew. Yes, yes, yes! Oh my god, oh my god, it was done. 1,000 days ago, I began this world, and now I had conquered its hardest achievement. See, that would be the end of the video, but we've got some visitors to take care of. Day 1001, it was all over. I restored the beacons and visited my two special pets who've been with me since the very beginning. I survived 1,000 days in hardcore Minecraft.
That is going to be it for the video and I just want to say thank you all so much for your support on this series. I didn't think I could survive 100 days, much less 1000, but you guys have always been there for me. I honestly can't thank you all enough. Now that I've survived 1000 days, you might be wondering what's next. I'm still going to upload 100 days videos on this world, but I'm also going to do some new 100 days challenges on other worlds. I've also got a hardcore let's play coming fairly soon, as well as a 25k special and I can't wait to make all this new content for you guys. Also, thank you for sticking with me while I took so long to make this video. I promise we'll be back to consistent content, hopefully weekly now. The world download link is in the description as well as the Discord server. With all that being said, I love you guys. Peace.